hi welcome again to my channel and for today i i was thinking about uh what to do next for my diy and i came across my mom's collection of soda can tabs which she has a lot this ziploc bag has is full of them she has collected this for so many years and I thought of why not make something out of them. So I'll be showing you how I made a bag out of these uh, soda can tabs. My mom collected different kinds of uh, tabs from different soda cans so I separated them and chose what tabs to use Next, I bent the soda can tabs with the help of pliers. I bent them just a little bit in between the two holes. Using a wire cutter, I made a cut at the upper part of the tab. I then connected the tabs by inserting one on top of the other and continuously doing so. I then made another set like this and connected them like that and made made like a diamond shape of the four tabs. In order to connect the two diamonds, uh, I need to put one tab in the middle middle top and one at the bottom I have to insert them again like so so I've placed one tab on the left diamond I have to connect it to the right diamond. At first, uh, it's kind of hard to uh, place the tabs, insert the tabs, but as you go along, you get used to inserting them much faster. So I need to connect them at the bottom too. Now just continue adding tabs at the bottom or at the side until you reach your desired length or width. You can either make a bunch of connected tabs and connect them all at once or you can add uh, a tab one by one.
Now I'm adding one tab at a time at the bottom. Eventually, I found out that the easiest way to add a tab is to rotate it like so and then connect them. Rotate and then insert them on both sides. So now I already have the length that I want. So next is I am going to connect the ends by placing tabs in between. Now they are connected. I placed a cardboard box inside so it will be easier for me to connect the bottom part using a ribbon. So at the beginning and at the end, you have to tie a double knot so it'll be secure. It'll be just like stitching with a needle. Just have to insert the, the ribbon through the holes of the tabs and pulling on them so that it gets connected and it'll, it'll close up. Now for the top part, I needed to place uh, inverted tabs to make the flap. This means uh, placing the tabs wrong side up. 
like so. I also placed ribbon on the top part of the bag so the tabs on top will be connected to each other and also it's for uh, design purposes well you can actually design your bag the way you want it For the strap, I used uh, the straight tabs, not the bedded ones, and just made a cut at the center again, like so. I then connected four tabs. inside one tab and then continuously added tabs continuously added four tabs to make a chain continuously add tabs until you reach the your desired length for the straps then connect the strap to the bag using ribbons for the inside of the bag I cut out a carton box and glued on a black cloth I then folded the wrapped carton and placed it in the bag. At the end of the flap, I placed a bigger tab and I folded a red tab that would serve as a hook. So there you have it, a bag made out of soda can tabs. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Thank you for watching.